Hello folks, thanks for tuning in. Recently I got a comment on my video about doing FT4 and FT8 on my iPad using the iFTX app. iFTX is also running on your iPhone by the way. And yeah, Tony uh, Two Wheels 408 wrote, he is blown away I got it to work and he's so confused and if I can uh, do a setup video. So that's the topic of this video. Stay tuned. I also got an email from Christoph, Hotel Bravo 9, Sulu Hotel Kilo, who is the developer of the IFTX app. He recently released an update, mostly bug fixes on the log export and import. You can delete log entries in mail style. And in future releases or for future releases, he is working on log uploads to QRZ, EQSL, ClubLog and yeah, maybe WaveLog. Let's get back to my setup. I'm using my iPad Pro 11 inch with an M1 processor. It has a USB-C connector and so I need this tiny little USB hub uh, which also has a um, HDMI out by the way. And the cable is USB-A to USB-B because here on the back of the Signalink interface you have this USB-B socket. And there is only one cable going from the Signalink interface to the back of my 857D uh, into the audio input of the radio. Last time I used my IC7000, but uh, this doesn't matter. The trick is uh, the Signalink interface has some kind of um, digital Vox functionality. So if it starts to produce an audio signal, then it also can trigger the PTT on the radio. When you plug it in for the first time, you may get asked by your iOS device uh, what you are plugging in. Uh, is it a headphone or another device? I chose headphones. You can see the Signalink interface here in Control Center. Here are the, the headphones. If you click here, you see USB audio codec. If IFTX doesn't recognize it for the very first time, what I am doing, I select it one more time and uh, in 99.9% .9 it's working. Or you can choose any other device and then reselect USB audio codec. Yeah, and after that it's straightforward. Um, set up the app, set your call sign, set your locator, etc. Uh, set the band because there is no cut control because for logging you have to set the band manually you can set if you are in a contest or not etc then simply save it and let's turn on the audio on the transceiver and let's hit core here we go you can see the PTT LED lights up and the transmitter is also keyed up. Here we go. Let me turn the volume down. Of course, if you have a signaling interface, you can control your TX audio with this dial. Always uh, have one eye on your ALC. And as you can see, we already made a contact, but you can also set your audio level using the volume up and down buttons on your iPad or iPhone. But this leads to another problem. Let me show it to you. Let me turn the volume down and then I hit call. Now we have to wait for the next cycle. And now watch the signal link and the radio. Okay, this will take some more seconds and here we go. So transmit, but the signal link is doing nothing. So when I crank the volume up, then it starts transmitting. If I 
go down again, it stops transmitting. So that means if the audio level is too low, the Signalink uh, interface cannot trigger the radio. So that means it's better to keep the level up here and then control the audio with the dial on the Signalink. Like so, maybe a little bit more. Yeah, I touched the dial by the way, so I was a little bit off frequency, but yeah, um, I made a contact anyway. I'm sending the Roger report right now. Uh, that's it for the moment, folks. Um, thanks for watching 73, and till next time, bye. -bye.